Samsung finally announces the Exynos 9820 which is the flagship processor for 2019. I'm pretty excited about this. Do you know why? This is going to be the processor power the Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, Note 10 and the upcoming Galaxy Foldable phone. Before going to the details of the processor, for the people who are not familiar with the Exynos or who are hearing the Exynos name for the first time, Exynos is a processor name which is developed and manufactured by Samsung like Qualcomm Snapdragon, Apple's Bionic and Huawei's High Silicon processor. Samsung makes these processors and use in most of their flagship and mid-range phones all over the world except US and China where Samsung uses Qualcomm processors. In India also Samsung uses the Exynos processor in all of their flagship phones. Enough said about Exynos and Samsung, let's get into the details of 9820. Before going to the video, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel please consider subscribing and if you like the content of this video please like and comment down below. Let's get started. So here is the Exynos 9820 which is a very powerful processor. Why I am saying that is the last year 9810 itself is a beast and Samsung claiming that 10% power efficient and 20% power in single core and 15% powerful in multi core which makes this processor is a beast. Unlike the 7mm FinFit process from Apple and Huawei, Samsung made this in 8mm FinFit process. Like the previous generation Exynos processor, this is an octa-core processor. So this has 8 cores divided into 3 clusters. We have 2 big Samsung made custom cores and 2 A75 cores and 4 A55 cores. Let me explain how this works. The 4 A55 cores are power efficient and less powerful as well. These cores are used for less intense tasks like sending a message or calling a person. The phone does not need that much raw power. So these A55 cores complete the task without much power intensity. For the powerful and intense tasks like gaming and video editing some these kind of things the biggest the custom cores and A75 will come into the action and complete these things. Samsung claiming that because of these architecture used in this process in single core performance these processor will be 20% powerful than the Exynos 9810 and 15% in multi core. At the same time this processor will be 10% power efficient than the Exynos 9810 which is very crucial because of the Galaxy S series phones are not known for a good battery life. Hope this can change the thing and one more interesting thing about this processor is the integration of a NPU for the people who don't know NPU NPU stands for neural processing units as all the phones coming with the AI capabilities what will the NPU will do is for all the AI tasks this NPU will come into the action and complete these actions seven times faster than the last year's 9810 which is just amazing that will be blazing fast when you rely on the AI which is quite interesting we have to see in person how this can perform this processor can support 4K display and if you use a single camera this can support up to 22 megapixel on the rear or as well as front and if you use a dual camera setup it can support 16 plus 16 cameras and this processor can support 8K video recording at 150 frames which is just amazing it will be doubtful to see this kind of frame rate at 8K resolution on the Galaxy S10 let's hope Samsung will bring that feature in the S10 and S10 plus and you'll get the download speeds at 2 gigabytes Gigabytes and the upload speed limits are 316 Mbps and this is coming with the UFS 3.0 and 2.1 for faster transfer rates. This is all the information you need to know about the upcoming Exynos 9820 will be a very powerful processor and I hope Samsung introduce fast charging with this. Yes Samsung phones does support fast charging but it limits a quick charge 2.0. I hope Samsung will bring a quicker charging solution for this. If you guys like the video please like the video comment down below and please subscribe to phone freaky thanks a lot for watching and a video about how fingerprint sensor works coming tomorrow so if you don't want to miss that video please click the bell icon as well thank you so much for watching